You must do this in writing. You should request any statement or ask us to look at the decision again or appeal a decision within one calendar month of the date of the decision. For example, if the date on the letter telling you about our decision is 14th of March 2008, then you should request a statement or ask us to look at the decision again or appeal the decision by the 14th of April 2008. If you request a statement within the time limit, then we will extend the time limit by the number of days that it takes us to send you a statement. If you decide to ask us to look at the decision again or appeal the decision, For example, if the letter telling you about the decision is dated 14th of March 2008 and we receive your request for a written statement on the 24th of March 2008, and we send you a statement on the 28th of March 2008, then you will have until the 18th of April 2008 to ask us to look at the decision again or appeal the decision instead of until the 14th of April 2008 if you had not asked us for a statement. You will usually be told the date you must ask us to look at the decision again or appeal the decision by on the letter containing the statement. We will not be able to look at the decision again or process any appeal if we receive your request outside of one calendar month time limit. Or outside of the extended time limit if you requested a statement, unless you have special reasons for not asking us earlier. For example, you were ill. If you ask us to give you a statement and we receive your request outside of the time limit, we will give you a statement. If you ask us to look at the decision again or you appeal the decision and it is outside of the time limit, then you will need to give the reasons why you have asked us late together with supporting evidence with your request as well. OK. So what happens if you ask us to look at the decision again and the decision is not changed? If you ask us to look at the decision again and we do not change it, then we will write to you to tell you this. You can still appeal the decision. You must appeal the decision within one calendar month.
So, what happens if you ask us to look at the decision again and we change it? If you ask us to look at the decision again and we change it, this will be a new decision. The whole process starts again. That is, you can ask for a statement or ask us to look at the decision again or appeal it. What happens if you appeal the decision? If you decide to appeal a decision, then it is important that you make sure that A. Your appeal is in writing and B. You state or give us enough information to identify the decision you are appealing. And C. Tell us the reasons why you disagree with the decision. And D. The letter of appeal is signed by you. If any of the above is missing, then your appeal will be treated as invalid. This means that we will not be able to process your appeal. We will write to you to tell you what you need to do. We will give you 14 days to make the appeal valid. Once we have accepted your appeal as a valid appeal, we will look at the decision again. If we change the decision and it is in your favour, then your appeal stops and you will be given a new decision. Again, we will write to you to tell you. If we do not change the decision, or change it but it is not in your favour, then your appeal will be sent to the Tribunal's Service, who will decide if our decision was correct. The Tribunal Service is independent of the Council. We will write to you to confirm this. The Council has a leaflet available called What to do if you disagree with a housing benefit or council tax benefit decision. The leaflet gives you information about what to do if you disagree with a benefit decision. It also includes an appeals form. You can get help from independent advice agencies such as Islington People's Rights or Mary Ward Legal Centre or a solicitor.
Islington People's Rights is located at 6 to 9 Manor Gardens, London, N7. Telephone 0207 561 3685. The Mary Ward Legal Centre is located at 26 to 27 Boswell Street, London, WC1. Telephone 0207 831 7079. You can get contact details of various solicitors from your Thompson's Local or the Yellow Pages. This is the end of this part of the film that tells you what you can do if you disagree with a housing benefit or a council tax benefit decision. I hope that you found it useful.